These are table four. Fast forward to my senior year of college, where I was older, wiser, and reasonably recovered from the heartbreak of freshman year. Or so I'd thought. What the hell's the matter? Um, nothing. Just trying to teleport myself anywhere other than this bar. Well, you better teleport yourself over to that table, because we have customers in the inner section. I can't. Why not? Because one of those customers is Josh Rochette. Never heard of him. I was in love with him my freshman year of college. He was the first and last guy to ever break my heart. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Now we go take his drink order? Dean, do you have any idea how humiliating it is to be sitting at home in a $200 dress you bought from Macy's for a date with a guy you thought might actually be your soulmate, only to find out you're just the butt of a big joke? No, I don't. Well, it's horrible. And even though you're my boss, I'm going to have to be insubordinate here and say, no, I will not go to Josh Rochette's table. Well, that's okay, because he's on his way over here. What? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, we're pretty dry over at our table, bro. Do you think you can hook us up with some pictures? Sure, bro. Get right on that. All right, thanks, man. All right. <laughs> Is he gone? No, he's not gone. He just got here. Well, find someone else to cover my shift because I am not going back there. I mean, if he sees me, he'll have the entire bar chanting, wham, bam, thank you, lamb. Wham, bam, thank you, what? Wait, what does that even mean? Oh, nothing. Just a little nickname his fraternity and the entire student population gave me my freshman year. I was Sigma Pi's sacrificial lamb and nobody ever let me forget about it. Look, I know you think I'm freaking out over nothing, but I'm not. What exactly did he do to you? His fraternity initiation task was this get a girl to fall in love with him, sleep with her, then dump her for no reason the night of the annual fall for me. Peace, bitch. Yeah! That girl was me. Josh Rochette's sacrificial lamb. Also, he could prove to Sigma Pi that he was man enough to be a part of the brotherhood. What a yuppie shit stick. Look. You shouldn't give that khaki pant wearing, smegma pie joining, aber zombie and Fitch fucking douche nugget a second thought. Easier said than done. Why does no one ever tell you how hard it is to get over a broken heart? What? All right, look, Josh Rosette might be the world's biggest jackass, frat boy, douchebag. But I can promise you one thing. There's no way he ever spent any amount of time with you and didn't fall completely in love with you. Are you actually being nice to me or is there a punchline coming? Well, that was a hell of a punchline. Well, it wasn't a joke. Um, I'm not gonna get fired for this, am I? <laughs> of course not. Okay, um, I mean, because I, I really I really need this job. If you fire me, I don't think I'll have enough financial aid to pay for my classes. I'm and... not gonna fire you. Okay, good, good. Okay, this is good. God, I'm really nervous, and I mean, I know it might not seem like I'm nervous, but I'm nervous. I'm not sure if I told you this, but I haven't had sex in a really long time, like since Josh Rochette. Care to let out some remnant emotional turmoil on me? You can let it out on me. I'm the asshole. No. You're not. I realize 
You were just looking out for me like you always do. I'm so sorry. You have no idea how sorry I am. I'm sorry too. About everything. Especially what happened to you. It's okay. Getting emotionally destroyed builds character. <laughs> I'm beginning to realize that. You know, it's crazy. I've known you for three years and I feel like I barely know you at all. You know me. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you.